Hello everyone, Sebastiano here of CodyHouse.co. Okay, so in this quick video, uh, I want to show you a uh, practical uh, example of how we can put to use the clip path property. We're going to create a uh, CSS triangle, which is part of a tooltip component. So just to show you an ex a preview of what we are going to build, if we go to codehouse.co and uh, we go to the components page, we can look for tooltip. And here we have the component. Uh, as you can see, when you go over the trigger of the tooltip, you have uh, the, the tooltip obviously appears. And uh, as you can see, there is a uh, small triangle, in this case on the, on the right of the tooltip. So uh, I have created this triangle using a clip path. Now I can hear some of you saying it's not a good idea uh, to use clip path today because of the browser support. Well, I, I don't agree. Uh, uh, first of all, the support for clip path is not that bad. I mean, it's supported as uh, at the time of this recording, it's supported in all major browsers except Microsoft Edge. But yeah, for sure, we have to take into account that Microsoft Edge is an important browser. Uh, but uh, you can use a, uh, let's say, new technology and use a CSS method um, even if it's not supported, if uh, this um, thing that you are creating can be considered an enhancement. So, um, for example, in the case of the tooltip, say we don't show the um, we don't show the uh, triangle at all. We can use the support rule in CSS and uh, say, for example, I want to create this element only if um, the uh, clip path property is supported and then you put in there the code for the triangle. What happens is that in the browsers that don't support clip, clip path, the triangle will not be visible, for example, in, in Edge. And in this case, well, it's not really uh, a, an issue. We could consider the small, the small arrow, some sort of enhancement uh, for this specific component. So uh, just to recap, if you think that uh, you are creating some kind of enhancement, then you are good to go with the new technologies. You can go, go crazy with them. Uh, if, it's, if you're building something which is important, which is going to affect the uh, user experience, then you don't have to use them. Okay, so let's start the tutorial. So in, uh, as you can see right here, I have a super simple uh, element. Uh, which is a div with the class of tooltip. Then we have some text inside and we have created a span element with nothing at all. So I'm not considering um, accessibility. This is just a tutorial focused on the clip path property. So um, as you can see, we have some very basic style here applied to the tooltip. How do we usually create triangles in a CSS. So one way to do so is, for example, using the border hack. So how does it work? We target the span element, and then we apply this play block, a height of zero, a width of zero. Then you apply a border, something like, oops, border, wall pixel, solid and let's go with black for example and there you have your element then you want to position uh, the element with the position absolute uh, we need a button let's go with minus 12 pixel and then we need the left value with 50% minus 12 pixel and it should be in the center perfect okay now this is the trick so basically you use the border to create a triangle if for example here i go with border bottom um, color let's say silver i'm going to use the same color of the tooltip so as you can see uh, I have created a triangle, uh, the silver triangle over there. This should be border 
top color. Now if I go here and uh, replace black with transparent and I move the element down like that. Now as you can see we have uh, created real quick a triangle in CSS. However, uh, as you can see, the the, uh, the tooltip element has a border, so we have a we have a one pixel border applied to the tooltip. Now it's really tricky to apply this uh, border to the to the arrow as well. We should use some kind of trick, like for example, uh, creating a uh, duplicate of the triangle element with another color, and then we should translate down that element. We could use, for example, an SVG element, uh, which includes already the border. And this is another way to go, but it could be a little bit complicated uh, to um, customize the SVG element in CSS. So there are different ways. Uh, and uh, while I was building the tooltip component, I wasn't very happy with any one of them. Now, maybe I'm missing something. If you have a suggestion, if I am missing something, please uh, leave a comment or um, tweet me, whatever, and uh, I will check that out. Um, I figured why not try to use the clip path in this specific case. Let's see why it's really convenient. So for the moment, let me comment out the border and let's comment this part as well. Let's go. And let's create the triangle using the clip path property. So how does it work? So once again, we have, we need a display block. Uh, in this case, we do need height and width. So we're going with a height of 20 pixels and a width of 20 pixels as well. We can set background. I'm going to use red just because I want to uh, see where the element is right away. Once again, a position absolute, a left with a calc. This time I'm using 50% minus half the sides of the element, bottom minus 20 pixels. There it is, the uh, square. So we want to turn this square into a triangle and it's really easy to do so using the clip path property. So let's go with clip path. We can use the polygon function, which allows me to use uh, sets of coordinates that clip the element uh, that I'm applying the clip path property to. So um, the first set of coordinates is going to be uh, this, uh, this point right here. So I'm going to pass 0% and 0%. Now just to uh, just so that you understand what I'm doing, I'm setting some coordinates that define the polygon which will clip the, um, the triangle element. So the first uh, um, coordinate is the x-axis, the second one is the y-axis. So when I'm entering 0, 0, I'm pointing, um, I'm considering this point right here. Now the second point should be this one over here. So it's going to be, let me remove the comment from here, it's going to be 100%, 100%. Now the final point should be the bottom left uh, uh, corner. So it's going to be 0% and 100%. And uh, there you go. Now we have a triangle creating using the clip path property. So all what's left to do is to apply transform rotate minus 45 degrees, right? And then we have to change the bottom value to minus 10 pixels. Well, now, um, what's, the, what's the advantage of using clip path in this case? So first of all, we can change the background value from red to inherit. So this quick change allows me to control the color of the triangle, modifying the color of the parent element. So if I go here and I change this one to 
black I have that also the, uh, the triangle now, the small arrow is black. Now let's go back to silver. Uh, not just that, um, we have seen before that we have some issues if we have a border applied to the, uh, to the tooltip element. So let me, un let me remove the comment from here and the border is back. In this case, I can do the same for the border. I can go here and set border inherit. And uh, right, right away, you have the same border applied to the triangle as well. So this is really convenient in CSS because you don't have to uh, change too many things. You just, uh, you just modify the parent element and the changes are then applied to the arrow as well. Uh, and uh, well, we have some other tricks that we can, uh, some other things we can take advantage of. For example, it's really complicated to apply border radius to the arrow if we use the, uh, the border hack. But in this case, because this is nothing more than a, uh, a div element, it's a square, we can apply a border radius and we can target a specific corner to apply the border radius. So if we go here and we set, for example, border radius zero, zero, um, should be zero and 0 0.25 M, for example. Now you can see uh, the corner here is has a border radius applied to it. So I, I'm not sure it's really easy to see. Let me just increase this a lot just for the sake of this tutorial. So it's horrible, I know, but it's visible. So um, yeah, you get the point. You can uh, make uh, changes that uh, wouldn't be um, possible or as easy if you were using another technique. So let me switch this one back to uh, 0 0.25 AM. So that's all. So you, you, now you know how to, a, a practical case where it makes sense to use the clip path property. Um, and I, as I was saying before, you, you may want to use the support rule. So let's just do this real quick. If we check the code of the Kodi House component, we can use this, for example. We can set, let's say, we can move all this inside the support rule. Move this just a bit. And uh, we can set, for example, that the triangle is not visible by default. And then if the browser supports the clip path property, well, in that case, the triangle becomes visible. Otherwise, if you don't do that, it's just the clip path property which is not working in all the in all the browsers, and you will end up seeing a uh, square, not a triangle. So you don't want that. Okay, so this marks the end of the tutorial. I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully you also learned a few tricks along the way. Uh, thanks for watching.